Our brains are the most complex organ in our bodies, responsible for everything we think, feel, and do. For many years, scientists believed that our brains were static, unchanging structures that simply deteriorated with age. But recent research has shown that the brain is actually highly adaptable, and has the ability to change and rewire itself in response to experience. This remarkable ability is known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity allows our brains to learn new things and develop new skills, whether it's learning to play a musical instrument, mastering a new language, or improving our memory. It also means that our brains can change in response to injury or disease, allowing us to recover from damage and adapt to new challenges. So, how does neuroplasticity work? Every time we learn something new, our brains form new connections between neurons, or brain cells. These connections become stronger the more we use them, creating new pathways in our brains. Over time, these pathways become more efficient and effective, allowing us to perform tasks with greater ease and skill. Scientific evidence has shown that these changes can be seen in brain scans. In fact, numerous studies have demonstrated the effects of neuroplasticity on the brain. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Neuroscience found that professional musicians had increased gray matter volume in brain areas associated with motor, auditory, and visuospatial skills compared to non-musicians, Gasser and Schlaub, 2003. Additionally, brain exercises have also been shown to promote neuroplasticity. A study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that cognitive training exercises improved neural network efficiency and cognitive function in older adults, Mewborn et al., 2017. Furthermore, a meta-analysis of 52 studies found that cognitive training programs can improve cognitive function in healthy older adults, Lampit et al., 2014. Physical exercise is also an important factor in promoting neuroplasticity. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that aerobic exercise increased brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, levels, which is essential for the growth and survival of neurons, Zahaini et al., 2015. In addition, a study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that aerobic exercise can improve cognitive function and increase gray matter volume in the brain, 10 Brinker et al., 2015. Finally, a healthy diet is also important for promoting neuroplasticity. A study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that a Mediterranean-style diet can improve cognitive function and increase gray matter volume in the brain, Cruz Boal, 2014. Furthermore, a review of studies published in the Journal of Neurochemistry found that dietary intake of omega-3 fatty acids can promote neuroplasticity and cognitive function, Wu al. 2004. Neuroplasticity is a remarkable ability of the human brain to adapt and change in response to experience. By engaging in activities that promote neuroplasticity, such as learning new skills, doing brain exercises, engaging in physical activity, and maintaining a healthy diet, we can harness the power of our brains to improve our cognitive function and well-being. As research has shown, these activities not only promote neuroplasticity, but can also increase gray matter volume in the brain, improve neural network efficiency, and enhance cognitive function in both healthy individuals and those with neurological conditions. So, what are you waiting for? Start incorporating activities that promote neuroplasticity into your daily routine and unlock the full potential of your brain. The possibilities are endless.